This story is called A Little Treasure. There was once a little boy who lived near a forest, and he went out for a walk in the woods. As he was walking through the woods, tapping on the trees with a stick that he had found, and picking up the shiny stones along the path, and putting them in the pockets of his jeans and his jacket, he saw a fallen branch, and much to his surprise, the fallen branch began to wiggle and move and jump and skip. And when he paused, getting over his fear to look at the little moving branch, he realized that underneath it, there was a small squirrel trapped with its bushy tail caught in the twigs of the branch. And although the squirrel would pull and jump and try to get out, it couldn't make its way out. Surprisingly, it seemed to the little boy that the squirrel also wasn't trying very hard. Ah, the boy thought, I understand. The squirrel doesn't want to ruin its tail, and it's its tail that's caught in the branch. And so the little boy watched for a minute as the squirrel tried to get free. But when he couldn't manage it, the little boy decided to help. And so he walked over and carefully, slowly, he lifted the small branch from the squirrel and twisted it until the squirrel's tail came free. And the squirrel jumped back in surprise and looked at the little boy and chittered angrily as if it were the little boy's fault. And the little boy said, well, I was just trying to help. You don't have to be mean about it. And the squirrel chittered at him again. And then it ran away. The boy set the branch down and thought to himself, well, that's gratitude for you. You help someone and they just yell at you. But it was a nice and sunny day. And so off he went, walking through the forest, picking up the shiny stones. And he nearly forgot about the small squirrel that he had helped. But on his way out of the forest, he heard again an angry little chitter, this time sounding perhaps a bit chagrined. And as he looked up, at a tree, he saw the small squirrel on an upper branch, and once he looked up at the squirrel, the squirrel dropped an acorn right in front of him. The boy thought for a second the squirrel was throwing it at him, but it really hadn't come down very quickly, and the squirrel had waited for him to look up. So when he looked up at the squirrel, and then back down to the acorn, he realized what it was. The squirrel was saying thank you. And so the little boy smiled and he picked up the acorn, which was a beautiful brown acorn with a nice, perfect cap on it and a reddish brown shell without a single crack. And he put it in his pocket and he took it home with him. And when he got home, his mommy had dinner ready and asked him to go and wash his hands. And as he did what he was asked and went over to the table, his mommy noticed his bulging pockets and started to take all of the stones and trinkets and little things that he had found out, rolling her eyes and asking him, why do you bring these things home? They don't mean anything. And the little boy didn't want to argue with his mommy, but when she went to throw his acorn away, he had to yell, no, stop, that acorn matters. And his mommy, who after all was a very nice mommy, even if she was confused, by the acorn, set it down on the counter and said, all right then, you can have it after you're done. So the little boy, satisfied, sat down to his dinner and he ate with his family. And then upstairs he went to his bedroom and he put the acorn safely on the toy chest in the corner of his room because he knew that even if his mommy didn't understand, that acorn wasn't a meaningless piece of junk that he had brought home, but was in fact a thank you from a squirrel that he had saved. The end.